channel and this week I want to talk about something that I actually have been reading over the last couple of days. Took a little time off. Hope you did too for Labor Day weekend. I put a video out with a live kind of a live YouTube live thing and myself in the car and uh, just talking about celebrating Labor Day and what we should be celebrating on that day each and every year which is our freedom and autonomy and liberty in designing our own life, creating our own income. It's a bit about what I want to talk about today. So, again, over the last several days, I've had a chance to do some reading. To be honest, things actually are getting worse. And our opportunity, far more attractive. Now, I'm not going to focus solely on the insurance industry on this video, so don't go away. I think you'll find value if you stay to the end. It will be relatively short. But, again, you know that's the industry that I've spent most of my life in. And these numbers, honestly, are scary for people that are not in an opportunity for themselves. So according to the statistics that I was reading this uh, past weekend, 60%, 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. 85% aren't happy with their jobs. And I can attest to that. People call me and are looking to get into this industry or inquiring about this industry are miserable. They do a 95, 10, 20, 30, 40 years are alive and they hate it. Imagine waking up and hating what you do every single day for your entire life. You were not born on this planet to be in that situation. We don't want to be born, grow up, go through school, get a job we hate, stay in that space for 40 years, retire on a decreasing income and die. That's a sad state of affairs. Someone told me years ago, when you leave this planet, what evidence will there be that you actually lived? And that's the point. We all want to kind of make a dent in this world and make a place for ourselves. Remember, long after we passed. And 71% said so they had less than $5,000 in savings. Another very sad statistic. But it gets worse. The stats are telling us that on average, we spend three and a half hours of our day on our phones, 62 minutes a day watching Netflix, and 18 minutes of those are spent choosing what to watch. Now, I can, I'm sorry. I can relate to that. Angel and I spent at least that amount of time on Labor Day trying to find a movie that we wanted to watch. It came down to two movies. One was The Trap, I think it was, and I can't remember the other one. Um, and we went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for 30 minutes and couldn't decide on either one of the videos and ended up watching YouTube. So I can relate. Now, don't get me wrong, I've, I've got nothing against using our phones or binging on Netflix, or in my case, it's YouTube. We consume a lot of YouTube. And you're here on this, maybe you're in the same situation. But if I'm going to be honest, I don't think these numbers are a coincidence. And am I saying that Netflix and social media makes us unhappy? I was going to say no, but really, the answer is maybe. Angela came to me the other day and said, you don't get off of Facebook. It's getting to be so argumentative, so divided, much like the world that we live in. There's no middle ground. There's no room for a conversation. Everybody's hate, hate, hate. You know, like, if you, if you vote for this person, then I won't be friends with you. I won't even be family with you anymore, right? It's become a very divisive place. And, again, if you're waking up, our, our routine used to be we woke up in the morning, we checked our emails and texts to see if our agents needed any help. Then we would scan the news to see what's, going, what's on the front page of the news. And then we would take a look at Facebook. And we don't do that anymore. Why? Because it's not a good way to start your day. It's more of how we choose to spend our time. If you spend 18 minutes a day writing down your goals, which I do, I don't spend a full 18 minutes. Why? Because I'm bouncing, multitasking from one thing to the next, 
By the way, multitasking is the worst thing we ever learn as human beings. When you're multitasking, you don't really give 100% on any one item, and the result usually is mediocre. You might have a better chance of achieving your goals, actually, if you spend 62 minutes a day learning a new skill. You can increase your value in the marketplace, which means you'll make more money. And if you spend two hours on a call with me each week, I guarantee you that you will learn to close more sales for life insurance, mortgage, or final expense using leads. Guaranteed, 100% promise that we did a call last week, do one every single week, which lasted nearly two hours. Incredible call, lots of great questions from a lot of great people. It was a very interactive call. And what I mean, it's not, it's not a preaching call. There were questions and, and, and others were helping. It's fantastic. It's a great experience to be on. But by doing all these things, you're going to earn bigger commissions. If you just realign your priorities and make a great living while pursuing success in this industry. And by the way, I define success as creating residual and passive income for yourself. That's so that 100% of your income is not coming from one of these things right here, your own pen. If it relies on you to get up every day and go out there and sell either face-to-face -face or virtually a life insurance policy, sooner or later you're fixing to get killed. That's what Art Williams would say years ago, and the reason for that is is because we get sick, we get old, we get tired, people in our lives need our help, so our family need our help, our parents are getting elderly, and if you have to take care of them, you can't go out and write your own policy and, make, and earn a living. So again, if 100% of your income is coming from this thing right here, forever, you're fixing to get killed. And by the way, you can do all of these things. You can build passive income, you can build residual income. And you can get high commissions, all 100% working from the comfort of your home. The one thing that I learned while pursuing success in this industry over the last 40 years, particularly in the last 15 in building a team, building an agency, is to be ruthless with our time. If it's not helping me increase my income, better my mindset, such as reading, listening to others who have achieved success in the area that I'm interested in, or helping my agents achieve success in this industry, or again, build those three types of income. If, if it doesn't fall in line with those priorities, then it's not on my list. right? It's not, it doesn't make my priority list at all because that's where I'm focused. And while Angela and I are not perfect at this yet, we continue to remind ourselves to be a bit more selfish with our time. And for some, that may seem extreme or even, like I said, selfish, but life is short. And we don't get enough time with our families as it is. And with all the things this world can throw at you to distract you from what is important, and for me, that's God first, family second, our agents and our business and their success third. Those are our priorities. It's just simple, right? We need, again, this is not easy to do. It's something we have to work on all the time. If you want the same results, you have to first put yourself in a position to win. What does that mean? It means you have to be in the right industry first that will allow you to have the opportunity to Control your time. Have time freedom. Have money freedom. At least get to that point. Own your income by owning your skill set. I've often talked about it. I can take an agent of ours, put him in any one of the states in this country, put him in a hotel that has, with a cell phone or, or a desk phone, give him some leads, and they can start making money inside of two or three days. That's powerful. You're never going to be unemployed, and no one's ever going to put you in a position to not be able to support yourself or your family or be scared. But at the end of the day, design your day to spend your time as you choose. Completely. Right? Complete autonomy, liberty, and personal freedom. You won't ever find that with a 9 to 5. Ever. Look, here's the bottom line. You either follow your own dreams, or you will end up working for the ones that did. And they have you sacrificing your dreams, sacrificing your time with your kids, sacrificing your time with your family and your life so that they can have their dreams. They've got you to make the sacrifices so they don't have to. Listen, I learned at a very early age this one truth. The old 40-40-40 plan. One of the biggest scams ever sold in America. 40 hours, you know the plan I'm talking about. 40 hours per week for 40 years and you end up retiring on 40% of what you could not afford to live off of in the first place. Commonly referred to as a job, by the way. I told my team this week, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've always loved what makes a business tick. How people make money, right? 
business of all kinds, network marketing, you know, auto body shops, you know, car dealers, people that use lasers to create objects and some on Etsy, all these things. I love to see how people come up with these ideas, how they monetize them, how much money that they earn, what is the return to them for the amount of time and money that they invested in that business. I mean, I love to hear stories of success. I'm a business person. I was born not to be a 9 to 5 worksite slave. Punching a clock, some can do it, but for me, I w I'd rather be homeless before giving up my freedom to control what I did day in, day out. After looking at thousands of businesses, I've still not found a single one where I can invest $200 and earn seven figures plus. Not one. With the amount of investment, time, and money, and the return on that investment. With nearly no overhead. We have some license renewals. We have some continuing education. We have lead costs, about 10 to 20% of your income. We work two or three days a week once we get good at what we're doing. We get proficient at it. We understand how to, how to lay out our day. We know how many leads that we're going to need to get the X number of sales, to create the X number amount of income that we're going to, to make. My goal has always been to write five new policies, protect five new families per week, earning three to 5000 bucks a week on my own pen while building an agency to create that passive income stream. And for the average of us that don't have a couple of million dollars to invest in a franchise, there really is no better opportunity to create cash flow, passive and residual income at the same time. Most businesses you start can never be scaled to a point where they're passive because you have, you means you have to have an employee running. You get an employee running and that employee doesn't show up for work. Guess who's showing up for work to open the store? You. Right? So it's very hard to create passive income out of most businesses. Here, we're in business for ourselves, but not by ourselves. And we equip and train new people. We bring them into the nest. We train and equip them to do exactly what we do and have the success they're looking for. And then we push them out of the nest and we go find more. So it's very easy to scale and create passive income. And by doing that, we end up living a life of personal freedom. We give every day doing what we choose to do. In fact, in fact, the last words I ask Angela as we are winding down for the night every single day. Say, babe, what are we doing tomorrow? So I'm going to ask you the same thing. Friends, what are you doing tomorrow? If it's not what you chose to do, then it's time to change who chooses how you live. I appreciate you watching. Thank you for the time that you invested in this video. I hope I returned that time by giving you something to think about today. And I will see you on Saturday. Cheers.